Hi, so this is a scene with well over 200,000 faces, and I want to perform collision detection using this sphere. I'm throwing the sphere into the world, and I want to know what I'm intersecting. So I can throw it into an object, and you can see, there you go, like everywhere there's highlighted in red, that's a collision. Um, how this works is that I have an ox tree in the scene, you can see it. So I'm dividing it in half and by half, and areas with more bounding boxes I determine have more vertices and I need to subdivide further. So this is the data structure I'm using for collision detection. I do AABB, AABB checks, that is two bounding boxes, against this oct tree. And then once I get to a leaf node, I perform an algorithm known as GJK. Um, it's a neat algorithm that figures out in uh, v v like for any two shapes whether they're intersecting, and it's fairly quick. Um, hi, cat. So basically, what we're looking at here is uh, my cat. Although you can't see him. <clears throat> um. I wanted to explain this. Okay, so each gray point is a point on the uh, Minkowski difference of the two shapes. So for every point on the bounding box, I have subtracted every point on the sphere, and that's my dog. <clears throat> um, this is the fourth time I've had to re-record. I'm just going to leave it like this, honestly. Who cares? Um, so the idea is each white point is then the point a point I'm taking into consideration that will find the origin. The origin is this yellow point. Um, and then this, two, this line segment is the direction I'm searching in. Uh, I should have color-coded it better, but one of these points is the closest point, in this case this vertex. When I continue, then have this triangle and we're going along the face normal we want the most extreme point to this line segment so that's going to be one of the points on top of the spheres so it shows this one um, it doesn't really matter all that matters is that we get a shape that includes the origin in some way within some tolerance so we're getting closer and closer over here now we have a tetrahedron it's kind of hard to visualize um, I didn't have enough time to make the code to draw a tetrahedron like this but here we get down to a triangle and the closest point is very very close to the origin um, and you can imagine so if I don't do the this visualization like it's happening at least 30 times here in a single frame it's very quick even though I'm doing it on a sphere like on a fairly complex geometry um, yeah. So again, line segment, triangle, looking up, another triangle, another triangle, and we found it. So then if I uh, put the sphere inside, it'll be clearer what it looks like for something to be enclosing the origin, I believe somewhere like right here. Yeah. So it's very clear. The origin is inside, like if you were to connect all the points on the, this arrangement here you can see that it's inside and it should very quickly yeah within only a few iterations so that's what this program does in addition to lighting it has a skybox it has debug stuff I'm proud of it but I'm throwing it away because it's messy 